literal farmhouse meets art fag or something like that. <laughs> I'm JD Sampson. We're in my apartment in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, and we're hanging out with my cat Dirty. So this is my childhood home, and I grew up in Ohio, and it was like farmhouse. I guess I grew up like enjoying folk art and enjoying antiques. I've been trying to capture my tears in here, but it really takes a while. This is the goddess room. You can tell because there are a lot of crystals. This is some art my dad made. So this is another one of my dad's pieces. He calls it a pill, a pill cloud. So I think it's like 70s drug association, but yeah. I think the decorating has just come really naturally. Like it's kind of piecemeal. These are like some pants that uh, Peggy Nolan made for me for my record cover. I can gain as much weight as I want. This guitar is like probably my most prized possession. It's like a classical guitar from the 60s that my dad gave to me when I was like deciding to take guitar lessons. And it's really calming. And no, I'm not gonna play you anything. And <laughs> I have most of my life like right here. I, this is what I do. I just like sit at this desk all the time. But I guess that's why I have most of my art here so that I can take a break and look at it. This is a piece that Emily Royston did. She's my best friend. I have a tattoo of her also. And this is a molding of my fist from a series called Celebrity Lesbian Fist by Paige Gratland. And um, it's meant to be like a sex toy, but I don't use it. This is my closet. It's really crowded. Dirty likes to go in there. This is a bunch of hats. I really like the parts of me that I show in my house. I look at my home and I think like, wow, this is reflecting who I am. And I almost see more of myself in that than I would see of myself like through my art or through my conversations with people. I don't know what else to, to show you. Oh yeah, here. This is like this book that I've had since high school called Hothead Paisan Homicidal Lesbian Terrorist about a like mean lesbian that hates men. For me, that's like what grounds all my houses. Like I'm like, okay, I'm putting this up. Now it's mine or something. So this is my bedroom. It feels like a hotel, white noise, chill vibes. It's so comforting to me like being in the womb. Everything else changes a lot, I guess. I like when it changes. Makes me feel like I'm living instead of just like staying in one place. But. Okay.